Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 19th annual Citadel Heart of Learning Awards. My name is Mike Schnabley. I'm with Citadel. However, more importantly tonight, along with George Fiore, I am the co-chair of the Citadel Heart of Learning Awards. We're here tonight to honor some very special people, 15 of the best local teachers. So that we can let everyone know about these great teachers, make sure to share this video to your page. At Citadel, we've been celebrating teachers for 19 years, and I think we can all agree it's more important now than ever to recognize our unsung heroes, our teachers. Let's have a look at the 2020 winners. So I'm guessing you all miss your teachers. Show this teacher some love in the comments section. Parents, I'm looking at you. You know you're missing the teachers. Citadel honors teachers because they help shape our young people. And by doing that, they're really giving us all a better future. At Citadel, we offer things like checking and savings accounts and loans to those in our community. Supporting the community in other ways is important as well, which is why we partner with the Chester County Intermediate Unit to celebrate our teachers, our everyday heroes. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Dr. George Fiore, the Executive Director of the CCIU, to share a few thoughts. George? Thank you, Mike. It's great to be here tonight, and thanks to everyone for joining us. I'm Dr. George Fiore, the Executive Director of the Chester County Intermediate Unit and co-chair of the Citadel Heart of Learning Award. If I think about our teachers and the important role that they play, I'd say they are some of the most irreplaceable people in any community. They mold the development of our students. They inspire students. They spark passion for a career. They are mentors. They are leaders. They are the foundation of any successful society. They are teachers. And those teachers face challenges daily and are determined to overcome challenges like the one we are experiencing right now. And they do it all for the sake of education and for the sake of their students. That is what makes teachers superheroes. They may not leap tall buildings in a single bound or are more powerful than a locomotive or faster than a speeding bullet, but they come pretty close to walking on water in my estimation. So let's take a look at how some of them were honored recently and how they are our superheroes. Life is complicated and brings challenges along with joys. The real champions are those who stand beside you when life gets messy, even when they have their own struggles. She is selfless, someone who puts the needs of others before hers and strives to find new and innovative ways to help her children in the most efficient, fun, and effective ways. I always remember her smile from ear to ear every day when she walks in. His lessons are fun and he makes the hard things seem easy. Her ability to not only handle all this, but be impeccable in her job continues to astound me. I marveled at his ability to consistently engage his students and parents with kindness, competence, and warmth. I hope they take away that learning can be a lifelong experience and learning can be found in all different areas, in and out of the classroom. 
We know that things are a little different uh, right now, but we still wanted to recognize all of our winners this year, just knowing that, you know, more than anyone, really teachers have adjusted to this crazy, surreal situation. And so, you know, it's really more important than ever to recognize Yay! all of you. I never seen such a dedicated teacher. Each week, she introduces a strategy for students to be their best self. The 2020 Citadel Heart of Learning Award finalist and winner for the CCIU, Riel Gadon. They are very humble. However, they make a great difference in the lives of their students and colleagues. The quality of a superhero would be someone that sacrifices on the behalf of others and holds a very high standard for themselves. I know countless teachers that do that. Teacher's a superhero. We're here to honor those great educators you just saw. Thank you all for being here and tuning in tonight. Each and every teacher deserves this honor. Some of you we were able to recognize in person and others we honored via Zoom or drive-by parade. Despite all the changes we've been through recently, teachers have really been the ones to shine. Okay, time for a few shout outs. Douglas Costin. First of all, congratulations about the news of your son joining the Jacksonville Jaguars. And thank you for being a genuine teacher and making Westchester East a better place. Meredith Melaseca of Sugartown Elementary. A nomination tells us that despite your personal challenges, you care tirelessly for your students. Thank you for all that you do. Andrew Kreider of Brandywine Wallace. We hear you teach with a gentle motivation to encourage your students. Thank you so very much. Amanda Capatrio, Chesterbrook Elementary. Thank you for being highly respected among your peers and for juggling multiple tasks and oh, with so much grace. <laughs> Vanessa Kephart of Oxford High School. Thank you for your positivity, dedication, and the amount of time you take to prepare your students for exams in college. Your peers say you are their role model. Jennifer Tyrell of Tredifferent Easttown Middle School. Thank you for going the extra foot, yard, and mile, whether it's emotionally or academically. Thank you to all 15 of you. Truly, each of you had nominations that inspired our selection committee. Helene. You not only get your students excited to learn about science every day, but you work with your students to help them meet their highest potential. You care deeply about your students, and this care is shown through your daily interactions with them as you support their social, emotional, and academic needs. Congratulations for winning the 2020 Citadel Heart of Learning Award for Avangrove. Congratulations, Meredith. Congrats, Ms. Malaseka, for winning an award. You are the best teacher. Thank you for helping me. Helene, congratulations on winning the Citadel Heart of Learning Award. But you're more than just a great teacher. You're a great person. You are like the mom to those students. You take care of those who need food. You take care of those who don't have enough clothes. You see the students who are struggling emotionally, and you take care of them. You love them like a mom would. I've always said you're like the mom of the school. This award couldn't go to a better person, Helene. Thank you for everything you've done for me, for our team, but mostly for every student you've ever touched in their lives. They're better because of you. Thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Malaseka. There's no one more deserving. Oh. Congratulations, Mrs. Whiteside. Thanks for being such a great teacher. Thank you for all you do for the students. Hi, Mrs. Cap. I just wanted to say thank you 
for all the help that you've given me in areas that I needed it most. And also thank you, especially helping me with some of the things that I don't get, like fractions and equivalent fractions, like all that, when I needed help the most. You are truly the best teacher ever. As you can see, this year's winners are true superheroes and deserving of recognition. Without further ado, we are going to announce the three grand prize winners for this year. There are three winners, one from elementary, one from middle school, and one from high school. And each will receive additional funds to use in their classroom. The winner for the elementary school category is Andrew Kreider from Brandywine Wallace Elementary School in Downingtown School District. Hi, I wanted to congratulate Andrew Kreider from Brandywine Wallace. We're so proud of him for being our Downingtown winner. Um, he should be really proud of himself. He deserves it. He's an amazing teacher and a great inspiration. Congratulations, Andrew. Great job winning the award. You are a great teacher and second grade was the best grade. You, whenever we came to class, we felt happy. Mr. Kreider, good job with, with the award. I'm thankful to be my teacher. Um, bye from Andrew. Congratulations, Mr. Carter. I know you've been working really hard to make us intelligent and ready for third grade. So thank you. We are happy for you and proud of you. And I feel lucky to have you as my teacher. You are a really funny teacher and you make learning fun for me. You are the best teacher ever, and thank you so much, Mr. Kreider. Congratulations, Mr. Kreider. Congratulations! Congratulations, Mr. Kreider. Congratulations, Mr. Kreider. Thank you for making learning fun. I'm honored to announce this year's middle school category winner. And this year's winner, is Cheryl Morkowski of the Owen J. Roberts Middle School. Congratulations, Cheryl, and everyone at the Owen J. Roberts School District for this wonderful accomplishment. Hi, Mrs. Markovsky. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement, and you were such an amazing teacher at OJR Middle School, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. Also, congratulations on winning the grand prize. I'm going to miss you a lot next year. Bye. Thank you, Ms. Markovsky. You're honestly the best chorus teacher I've ever had. And you showed me that I actually have potential. I've been called irritating and annoying by my own little sister when I sing. But when I made it into the Varsity Singers, it actually showed me that I do have potential. That I am a good singer. Now here I am, I write my own songs. And I owe it all to you. Thank you, Ms. Markovsky. Hi, Ms. Markovsky. Congratulations on your retirement. Um, we're sad to see you go, but very happy for you. Um, I just want to say thank you for all of the memories and friendships that your class has led to me having. Um, it's always been something I will never forget, and I think about even in college. So thank you for that. And thank you for being a good teacher and teaching me how to sing better. <laughs> and thanks for fueling my passion in music. Love you. Congratulations. Congrats, Ms. Markovsky. Thank you for believing in me so much. I will always remember you when I hear music. Hi, Ms. Markovsky. I miss you so much and congratulations on winning the Citadel Heart of Learning Award. I couldn't think of anyone who deserves it more than you. Thank you for all that you've done for me and I'm never gonna forget our fun memories at Chorus Fest in Hershey Park. I will always think of you when I hear music. Dear Mrs. Markovsky, I was really sad when I heard that you have decided to retire. Next year will be very, very weird without you. I hope that you will have a great retirement and do everything you have always wanted to do. Even though this year was very fun, I'm definitely certain it would have been even better if we could have spent the rest of the year in school. I know these are definitely not the circumstances you would have wanted to retire under, but I know that you deserve that. I know I speak for all of us when I say that you will be missed next year. Thank you for all that you have taught me. I hope you come back to the concerts. 
Have a great retirement. Sincerely, Aiden Pierce. And now, our high school award recipient. This year's high school winner is Douglas Costin. You can post your shout out in the comments section. Hey Coach Costin, uh, Kevin Fagan here, principal at Westchester East High School. Just wanted to say congratulations on being the winner of the Citadel Heart of Learning Award. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. You're tremendous to work with. I love talking to you every day. I love our conversations. I miss having those conversations right now. And uh, Doug, just from, from me to you, on behalf of the entire staff, all of our students and families at Westchester East, thanks for everything that you do. Thanks for everything that you are. Uh, I know the relationships that you have with students and how close you are and how much you care. And every day going out of your way to make connections with kids, especially those kids that need an extra helping hand. And you know how to find them. You know how to talk with them. You know how to build relationships with them. And you're tremendous at that. And the impact that you have at East High School, it's visible now and it's gonna last a long time. The ripple effects of everything that you've done uh, permeate throughout our school and throughout our community. So thanks for being who you are. Keep up the excellent work. I can't wait to see you again in person and, and give you a big hug. Thanks, Doug. Congrats. Thank you all for joining our live awards ceremony tonight. I had so much fun. We hope we can see all of you in person as soon as it's safe. On behalf of Citadel and the Chester County Intermediate Unit, teachers, you really are superheroes in our community. My personal thank you to each and every one of you, and as my favorite book to read to my children ends, and to all, a good night.